Hey, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do effective giveaways using Gleam. Now, if you didn't know what Gleam is, it's a website that allows you to coordinate your giveaways. But there's a catch. You actually get to make those giveaways 10 times easier for you and also your entrance. It makes your engagement on all your social media channels a lot higher because you're incentivizing the giveaway. You're getting people to follow you or subscribe to you or whatever on the different social media platforms, which you can tailor and customize as part of that giveaway. Now, the great thing about Gleam is that it will basically check that people have done the things that they said that they're going to do. Traditionally, if you run a giveaway and say, sub to me on YouTube and I'll enter you into a giveaway. You just kind of have to take it on good faith that someone actually has subscribed to you or followed you on Twitch. Or well, using Gleam, it actually checks that they've done that process. And even better still, it handles that process. This isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. I've just used Gleam on my last video where I compared this USB microphone. It's a $120 fine, fine K658 microphone. I've compared it with a, so this is a USB microphone with the Shure SM7B, which is an XLR microphone. If you're interested, in that video i will link it there but this giveaway here i'm going to link in the description below if you do want to enter it feel free to do that in this video i'm going to be running through how to set up a giveaway using gleam i'm going to run through the pricing system of gleam don't worry there is a free version that you can use so it's completely free if you don't want all the extra functionality i'm going to go through just some of the different options as well that you can use in gleam and how best to use it and we'll even set up a giveaway as part of this video too so you can get a good example of how it's run hopefully you enjoy the video if you do, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Let's go. So first up, an overview of Gleam. Well, Gleam itself connects your social medias so that you can then get people that are entering your giveaways to easily follow you on Twitter or on Twitch or subscribe to you on YouTube or do all kinds of other things. For example, if you're doing some sort of photography giveaway where people have to enter their competition by doing photography work, they can submit through Gleam and you can even have galleries through Gleam that show the entrance. And that's just one of many different examples, but it's just a much higher level of engagement. It even can handle some of the communication process for you when you come to do the draw and the giveaway. So it really is an end-to-end -end giveaway system from Gleam. So why would you even use Gleam? Well, Gleam just handles everything end-to-end -end for you. It makes it a lot easier for your viewers and it also encourages them to follow you across multiple channels. Why is that important? Well, it's important that your viewers that you're giving stuff away to follow you across multiple channels because when they do, that means that you're able to connect with them in more ways. It means that you can provide more content to them and it means that they're basically a lot more engaged with you as a content creator. So doing giveaways for people on its own is okay, but it can be a total waste of time, money and effort if there's not much off the bat of it. Using Gleam, you can also use various templates that are available as well. For example, really nicely designed giveaways and anything that relates to content, they can also handle the content side of it as well. For example, content submissions and so on and so forth. So here is some example giveaways that you can see. First of all, here's my microphone giveaway you've got here. We can see how many entrants I've got into my own giveaway. Obviously, that's going to be zero because I've not entered my own giveaway. See how many entries there are to this giveaway and how many days left. And these are all fields that I've set on Gleam giveaways here. You can define all of this text, which is like HTML text. So you can design this as nicely or as badly as you want. As you can see, mine's not designed particularly well here. It's pretty much just text and emojis, but you can do a lot more with this if you are talented at HTML. And from there, you've then got these customizable options that encourage the engagement with the people that are entering your giveaway. For example, if I want to give away one ticket to my giveaway here, they would follow me on Twitch by using this link here and Gleam would verify that they have followed me on Twitch. I did create a video on how to make a YouTube subscribe URL so that when you click the link to go out to YouTube, it automatically asks someone to subscribe to your YouTube channel. But then you can also do other things. For example, here I've got something that allows people to double their entrances by completing at least three of these actions above. The great thing about Gleam is that they've also got some templates. Now there are free templates available if you're on the free plan and it's indicated in the top right hand corner here what plan you're on and we'll go into plan pricing a little bit further on in the video. So here's an example of a preview here. So I'll preview this YouTube one by clicking on this. 
and you can see there's loads of options we can get people to do in terms of engaging with me as a content creator here just going to preview a photo contest here as well you can upload your photo to a gallery using instagram facebook or twitter or i think you'll be able to use like an upload from your pc as well and using this particular giveaway you can also then see the entrants that have been submitted to this particular giveaway quickly let's get into pricing you've got monthly and yearly you've got hobby pro business and premium now the hobby plan you cannot get this on a per month basis even though it displays a per month price so you've got to click on the yearly and this then becomes available and you can select that plan when you're on the monthly the cheapest plan you can do is this pro plan for 49 dollars per month now this seems quite expensive to me i think even when you get it on a yearly basis it comes down to 39 dollars over the course of a year it's still quite expensive but for most content creators that are watching this video you'll probably find the hobby plan really really useful so how do you set up a giveaway on gleam so that you can do a giveaway for all of your viewers right well within gleam they call them competitions so i'm going to click on competitions here and as i've mentioned we've already got a competition running which is the microphone giveaway for the fine fine just here now this shows me how many impressions how many actions and how many users we've got and obviously we'll see this grow over time i'm just going to go into the new competitions here and i'm going to start from scratch or from template so i'm going to choose to start from scratch and i'll show you exactly how you can set up the giveaway using gleam now it's split up into five different sections you've got the setup user details how to enter prizes and then post entry information and again this is all using the free plan at the moment and at this point we just need to start filling in the fields give this a name for example a sexy dinner date with machine dana is three enough three eggplants quantity over quality right so then we can choose when we want this to start by clicking on here let's say we want this to start on wednesday the 16th and then we can choose when we want it to end let's say we want it to run for one week until the end of the 22nd now at this point there are some automatic terms and conditions that are placed in here you can review these if you want but it places some of the fields that you've already placed into the terms and conditions once you're happy with everything so i'm just going to click on this second tab here and i'm not actually sure if it saves when i click over to that second tab so i'm going to just make sure that by the time i finish filling in all these five sections at the end of it i do click save to make sure it saves so you can have a minimum age i'm going to put this as a minimum age of wait a minute i don't want to be weird eight, it's 18 in the uk at least 18 for the sexy dinner date now emails here as a forced field and there is a reason for that when you're running a giveaway you have to be able to contact the people that win and this is one of the fundamental problems that streamers and youtubers have with giveaways when they're not using a tool like gleam contacting the winner can actually be the most difficult part and for that reason, whenever I've previously run giveaways without Gleam, I've ended up choosing four or five winners just so that we make sure that at least one of them is then going to be contactable. Here on the right hand side, we've got like a preview of what that form's going to look like. Next up, we're going to fill in how to enter the giveaway, an absolute metric ton of options. So if you want someone to enter via Snapchat, brilliant. They've got an option for that, but only some of these options are available on the free plan. Obviously, the main ones here for most gamers, YouTubers and Twitter people is is going to be discord there's bonus which we'll get into in a second you're going to want twitch and of course youtube which you can see on the right hand side here we've even got spotify and steam and submitting media so i'm going to go ahead and click twitch here we've got various options available to us we can just say they enter via twitch only twitch subscribers can enter uh, or they've got to follow you on twitch or they can do it via the channel points redeems as well now some of these are locked to the paid plans that they've got but luckily follow on twitch is a free one we just now have to put the channel name in there so i'll enter my channel name when we set the worth entries this is how many tickets they get to the giveaway and you can then select whether you want that to be a mandatory thing that they have to do next up youtube i'm going to say a youtube entry so they can actually enter using their youtube login details and at this point we can actually set the message to prompt someone on what they need to do you could add like an exclamation point there just to really jazz things up and then we could say we want YouTube as well, but we want them to submit a video if it's a video submitting competition. But again, this is on the pro plan. Now I'm just going to say visit the YouTube channel. Now you can put your channel URL here, but as I mentioned earlier, there's a way that you can get it so that they can submit a URL that then confirms them to subscribe to your channel, which is one of the ways you can get around 
this. So for me, I've created this URL, which then visits my channel, but confirms a subscription as part of that. Now, finally, I'm just going to go through what bonus is. So if we click bonus, we've now got the option to do some extra things. So we can click for a daily bonus entry. And all this does is encourages people to come back to the giveaway page and they can click to get more entries. Now, what we can do here is untick the daily entry thing. Now we can say we want a minimum of two actions required as an example. And we won't say it's a bonus entry. We'll just call this get more tickets. And we can say it's worth another two tickets. I'm going to just add one more and I'm going to say I want them to follow me on Twitter. Now you can do other things here like follow a hashtag, do a tweet, retweet a tweet, enter via Twitter. I'm just going to say follow me on Twitter. Nice and simple. We'll add that and then put my handle as the name there. So we've now got Twitch. We've got visiting my channel, which is like a sub confirmation here. We've got bonus tickets and we've got following me on Twitter. Now I'm just going to reorder these. So I want the YouTube channel to be at the top and then the YouTube entry just below it. Twitter and yeah that's probably a decent enough order at any point if you make a mistake you can click remove here to remove the particular section next up prizes and this is where we actually customize the giveaway content itself competition details does support if you click on this button here HTML you can also get buttons as well so you can design a button so now we can put any content in here we can put some more eggplants in there if we need to on either side h1 h2 if you didn't know is just a way of making these bolder so it's like header references heading one heading two so heading Heading one's going to be the biggest. We want to highlight it again and go heading two. We can make it a little bit smaller. That's what she said. We can even bold it, underline, all the usual stuff. And now just have some normal information about the giveaway. So now we put the prize name in here. And the reason why you need to fill these in is because it then places some of this data into the terms and conditions that we talked about earlier. Sexy dinner date will go there we can choose the number of winners that we want to be able to pick and obviously this is going to be three winners because we're going to go on a four-way sexy dinner date of course and we can also put a prize value in case you want to put an optional value to it so for example if someone can't make the sexy dinner date with me then we can just give them some money instead, which is to a value of. Now, you may not want to do that, but it just gives you a bit more of a flexible option if someone wants to have the money instead of the prize. Obviously, this is worth quite a lot of money, so I'll put that at 5,000 US dollars. You can also add two more prizes on the free plan, but if you've got an upgraded plan, you can add loads of different prizes here as well. Next up on the post entry as well, we've got a load of different options. Most of these are requiring you to upgrade to pro or to business. It's things like sending a post entry confirmation email, adding your own custom post entry confirmation email redirecting users to a specific page after they've completed all the actions obviously you need to give it a title as well i don't know why i didn't see that quick save and we get a confirmation to say the competition was successfully created now at this point we can click back into competitions and we can see that the sexy dinner date is scheduled to go live in three hours time now when i click on this sexy dinner date giveaway i can click on the promote icon here and this just gives me some information like the url but also different ways that i can automatically submit to these different platforms and this is what the giveaway is going to look like you can now preview it and start using this link and spamming it to all of your followers now on this preview you'll notice that only the twitch follow is the thing that's working and is available here for two tickets and that's because we made that a mandatory thing but if we turn off that mandatory for the twitch then all of the other stuff will appear at the moment all the other stuff will only appear once they've followed on twitch i'm going to click down the twitch thing here and i'm going to make it mandatory i'm going to update it here and now we can see all the options are there because the twitch follow is not a mandatory thing but we do still have the get more tickets which is locked until we've completed at least two of these things now at any point you can click on the competitions and go on the entries and actions tab here and you can see which people have actually entered and what they've done now for the purposes of data protection it does block out the email address information which i think is a really really good thing and also it does show you when it detects some sort of fraudulent activity so this is possible that somebody is just spamming entry to lots of different giveaways in which case we can choose to click these and if we want to we can delete those when you're ready to draw a winner just click on the winners tab and we can click to draw a winner now if we've picked that there's only going to be one winner then it will only allow you to select one winner you click it and it will randomly select one winner if you're then unable to get a response from that person then you can just simply delete that action and then go through the process of picking a new winner so there you go that 
that was the Gleam giveaways. Hopefully you found that very insightful. I'm sure you can see why that would be very useful for your giveaways. It takes a little bit more time to set it up, but it's still pretty straightforward and easy. You get a much higher level of engagement from your giveaways, and therefore they become a little bit more worthwhile and a little bit more of a nicer experience for you and also your viewers. If you did find it useful, don't forget to hit the like button. I really appreciate it, and take care. Bye-bye.